ESGN Nation and welcome back to another episode here today on ESGNN as we're making a return back to the diamond here today in MLB 17 the show with the St. Louis Cardinals franchise and today we have a matchup between the Cubbies and the Cardinals and it is a uh, MLB exclusive here as uh, we'll see them on the diamond here in this uh, first game of three games you'll see in this series now the last two games of the series, we'll, you guys will see that in the full, raw, uh, uncut uh, form here on the channel. And uh, But we're going to get to game one here today as we have a matchup, a really good matchup here. We've got Carlos Mar uh, Martinez, uh, who has been on a uh, winning track here. And uh, we'll see if he can continue that on this one as Martinez is 13-3 and three for the season with 202 strikeouts. And then of course he's taking on Brett Anderson. Now, if you know anything about this, uh, well, at least about me playing this game, Brett Anderson and I are not friends at all. I have a tough time with him, and we'll see if we can try to change that here today. Now, Luke Voigt will be on, as you see here, he'll be up to bat here. He will be called up, as uh, if you remember from the last episode, we had some injuries. And so we decided to call Luke Voigt up, and then there you see Luke Voigt getting his first hit here in MLB. So congratulations to him as he is going to get his first Major League Baseball hit. And he's going to be, of course, our first baseman uh, for uh, some time here as we do have to make some changes there. Of course, uh, Carpenter is going to be out for a while, at least two months. Hopefully we can get him back sooner. But uh, we'll see what uh, Voight can do as he will, uh, of course, to be there at first base. Uh, for, uh, occasionally from time to time, depending on... Uh, our lineup uh, so that we kind of be day to day. So Randall Grishek will be up next here as there's nobody on board, but there are two out. And Grand uh, Chiskick here is going to hit this one here high and deep. That is going to go back to left center field. That ball is up and it is gone. Home run there for Randall Grishek as he helps the Cardinals take a two run lead here in this one. And uh, I think today we might be a good day here against. Brett Anderson uh, instead here. Usually I don't do so well uh, when it comes to him and I. Uh, at least, I, well, I don't know. I don't see him too much in the uh, in the franchise uh, series here. But I know in Road Show I see him quite often uh, because I have uh, a couple guys there in the West Coast where he uh, plays for the Rockies in uh, two of the series there on my uh, here on the channel. But uh, today we uh, get on top of him real quick there and we get a two nothing lead now. Uh, Peralta there hitting this one right down the third base line. That's going to be a base hit, and that's going to put him on board for the uh, single there to left. Move on now here. We'll see what we can do now as uh, Jed Jerko here. Oh, no, this is going to be a wild pitch there. So Peralta now is going to move up to second base on that wild pitch, and that will put uh, Jerko, Jerko now with a runner on uh, in scoring position now. Of course, Greg. Randall Grishcha getting close to the uh, top number right now. Uh, remember, Carpenter has 30 home runs, I think, before he got injured. Now, Grishcha now has, uh, I'm looking at my numbers here, 25 home runs for the season. But I think Jed Jerkle's like, you know what? I'm going to try to get in that race, too, as he hits his 12th home run there. That one's going over the fence, and that one is gone. Jed Jerko, two-run shot there. Cards now lead this one 4 to nothing here. In the north side of Chicago, as the Cubbies are hurting here in this one. And so far, in this first frame alone, Cardinals have been very dominant. Take a look here at this swing there. And uh, Jared Jericho, if you, you know, right time, right pitches there, he can uh, be a threat there uh, for the long ball. So, Carlos Mar Martinez, there you see his numbers, like I mentioned, 19 starts. He is 13 and 3 for the season. And he is, of course, our ace here this season. And we'll try to see if we can continue that. Here is taking on John Jay. First off the bat here in the bottom of the first inning. And so John Jay, and of course the Cubbies now have a lot of work to do now. If they want to try to get back in this one, as John Jay it starts off pretty well here. He gets a base hit. Gets himself there a single there to shallow right center, left center field. And that'll put him on board. Now we'll see Hayward up to bat next here. And, of course, Martinez now in the stretch. And, oh, that's a swing and a miss there on that one. 
And that's going to be one away there for the Cubbies. As Chris Bryant will be up next here. And, of course, Chris Bryant, one of the dangerous hitters. This is really this lineup here. Three, the one, two, three, four, five. I would even say six of the top six hitters here is really dangerous in this Cubbies lineup here. So you can't take them lightly. Um, and really, I mean, I, I, I mean to be honest, quite honestly, guys, this lineup here that these Cubbies have, it's I mean, from one through nine, it's dangerous. I mean, I would even include the pitcher, uh, depending on what type, what day it is, who's on up to pitch there. As we see Rizzo up to bat next here, and of course uh, Rizzo, uh, the big man there on the ball club here, and we'll see what he can do as he uh, grounds this one there. That right there. Good hustle there from Peralta, but just can't get that one there the first. And that'll be a, a base hit there for Rizzo. As we'll see a runner now at third base. So it's Kyle Swarber. If you remember Kyle Swarber, last time we came here in Chicago, Swarber hit that one run home run, which got them the win. And, well, we strike out Swarber there as he takes that uh, chasing low uh, change up there. And that is going to switch up the side here as we go down to the bottom of the fourth. And we'll see Rizzo here up again. As you see, they got the shift on him. And we'll see if that'll be in, uh, in this situation here. As Rizzo here grounds it. Oh, yeah, I guess that's one of the base hit there. Nice job there from Rizzo. And he'll get there safely. No problem there on the play as they... I have now one on board. So Kyle Swerver up bat here again. Remember we've seen him not too long ago there in the first. Struggled. And we'll see you here with a runner on board. We'll see if uh, Kyle Schwarber here can. Uh, well, yeah, let's see. Oh, no. Kyle Schwarber's going to get into a double play. But no, they do not get the tag at first. As the ball gets away there from Voight. So they only get one there. So one out, one on here. Next batter here, and we'll see there that it will be Contreras, and Contreras will line this one down to th uh, left field for a base single, and that'll be a nice one there for him. Now two on, one out. Cubbies here has Zubers, and Zubers will strike out there, and uh, that was a check swing on his part there. Should not have done that as he uh, gets out on a changeup low and away, two away there on the Cubbies. Next up, it is... Uh, Looks like it's going to be uh, another uh, strikeout there. And that'll be on Anderson. As that'll be a strike out on that low fastball. Low and in. And that'll be it for the inning here as we go now to the top of the six here. We'll see Carlos Martinez up to bat over two. And uh, not a good day there at, uh, near the plate. But on the mound here, he has been very excellent here. As he's still in the ball game, bases are loaded here. He has a great opportunity now to really help himself out here if he can find a pitch. And oh, he finds it, but he just cannot pull the trigger there, and that's going to get him walking back to the dugout, talking to himself. As the Cubbies do a great job there, striking him out and getting out of the inning with the bases loaded. So Wilson Contreras now up to bat here next. As we'll see, there are 0-2 count. See the pitch here. This one's going to be a pop-up there to the second baseman. Jed Jerko makes a nice grab, and that'll be it for that at-bat there. So nice job there. As we'll see next up for the Cubbies is Ben Zubris. As Zubris is looking here to, of course, uh, trying to get this uh, offense going here. This offense has been really dead for the Cubbies here today. As uh, we'll see him get a one-out single there up the middle. No problem there as he gets on board. And that'll put a, another chance now here for the Cubbies to do something. As we'll see a pitch hitter here. And uh, Columbo, or Colum Columbo, um, there will be, of course, uh, here. And we'll see what he can do with a runner on board with one out. Seeing the uh, pop up there to shallow right field. That's going to drop in there for a base hit. And now puts two runners on board as Addison Russell will be up next here. Over for 2 for Addison Russell today. Not a good job here as he is hitting in the ninth hole. And we'll see if he can try to get a uh, rally going now as he's swinging a miss there. And that's going to get him walking back to the dugout with two on and now two away. So uh, it's Martinez still out there here. Martinez trying to close up this inning here. 
And we'll see if he can do so. With two on, two out, 0-1 count. This one's going to be a dribbler there to short, short. Makes a nice play there from Diaz, and nice job there to avoid getting the out, and that is going to be it for the inning. It's still 4-0. Cardinals still lead this one all the way stemming back from the first inning. As we'll go to a 2-3 day here for Contreras, and then, and of course, he is trying to get this uh, bat going here for himself, and, of course, his uh, team here, his club, has really been struggling here in this ball game here. They have not really been able to muster out too much offense here as they've been uh, leaving a lot of men stranded here today as this one gets popped right up and it should be an easy play there for our catcher as Molina makes a nice uh, catch there as Ben Zerber is up to bat next as it's a one for three day here for him as we're in the bottom of the ninth and a 2-0 count here we'll see this pitch here this will be a ground ball there to Diaz Diaz Makes a nice throw. He gets there on time. And that is going to be two away for the Cubbies. So now the last chance now here for the Cubbies to get something going. And, of course, to get back in this ball game here. And Javi, Javier Baez, wow, of all people here, taking a day off here today. And he is going to be using a pitch hit situation now in this one. As uh, Baez, of course, they're a big bat here. And I was kind of really uh, scratching my head here. I was kind of wondering, I'm like, wow, he's not in the lineup here today. And kind of dawned on me towards later in the game. I'm like, where is Bias at? And we'll see there. He is not going to be able to do anything there. He has warning track power there, but not enough to get over the fence. And the Cubbies will end up losing this one. Cardinals, our Cardinals here, they will take away this first game here. And they'll win this one four to nothing here at Wrigley at the friendly confines here on the north side of Chicago. So great job there from the Cardinals, uh, especially putting up four runs in that first inning along with both of those, uh, or all of four of those runs coming off of two run shots. And that really did a great job there for us as Martinez now moves to 14 of three now for the season as for Anderson, seven and seven. And your player of the game, Carlos Mar Martinez, nine innings of work, eight hits, no runs, no earned runs. No walks and nine strikeouts there for him. Jared Jericho three for four in the ball game, a home run and a double, two RBIs and a run scored. And there you see Anthony Rizzo two for four for the day for him, as he could not do too much there for his ball club to help him out. Now, like I said earlier in the video here, we will have the last two games here, unedited, uh, raw game footage of the uh, last two games of the series, and those should be up here in the next day or two. So. Stay tuned for that here on the channel as we'll wrap up that series. And, of course, uh, next time you hear from me, we'll be at home. There you see we're going to start a nice homestand there against the Colorado Rockies, a three-game homestand there. Don't know which game we're going to play just yet, but uh, I'll have to check out the matchups and see what they are. But we'll definitely be in that series there. We'll see if we can uh, try to walk out of this series with Chicago, hopefully with a clean sweep. It's going to be tough, but nonetheless, it's going to be a fun one. So stay tuned for the last two games of that series. And, of course, stay tuned for the next episode, uh, episode 30, as we take on the Colorado Rockies at home back at Bush Stadium. That's it for this episode of the Cardinals franchise. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please leave a like. Just try to get 50 likes for the video here today. Not to mention, let's also uh, hit that bell notification if you happen to be new. And hit that uh, subscribe button if you're new, too, to keep up with the Cardinals and uh, all the good things about the Redbird Nation here on the channel. So thank you guys again as always. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord. Check us out on uh, Patreon. We do have a Patreon page, so if you'd like to support the channel that way, there is some cool uh, tiers there you guys can look at and be join there and help out with the channel. So again, thank you guys so, so much, and as always, keep yourself uh, healthy, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.